We're here with head coach Rusty Strap, uh, the baseball team here at Gardner Webb. This is the uh, Big South Coach Camp. Coach, um, there's a lot of excitement around uh, the baseball program right now. Um, John Henry Moss Stadium was completed in uh, September of 2010, and uh, we'll see its first game on February 22nd. Um, talk a little bit about the, the team, the 2011 uh, uh, running Bulldogs, and uh, just the excitement around the program in general. Well, the excitement's running uh, really high right now, not, uh, mainly because of the stadium. Uh, we had a very young team last year, and uh, we spent the whole year as the traveling gypsies on the road. And this year we get to play at home. We get to play in front of hopefully a lot of people here. And we've added lights to the stadium, so I think we're going to be uh, having uh, several night games, and we hope people will come out for those. The team was young last year, which uh, most people would think that that means we're veteran this year, but actually we're still kind of young. Uh, we threw a lot of freshmen. The, the vast majority of the innings on the mound last year were freshmen, so we got a lot of young sophomores this year getting time. And we had a couple freshmen get a lot of uh, time on defense um, at, in the outfield and in the lineup. But I, I still think we're relatively young in terms of uh, not having a lot of seniors. Uh, but the seniors we do have, Aaron Miller, Daniel Merck, those kind of guys, uh, are guys that we're looking forward to having another great year like they did last year. The conference is better than ever, as always. Uh, so the challenge is going to be strong, but I think we we got an exciting young team and we're going to put guys out on the field that play hard and run the bases hard and uh, will be a credit to not only Gardner-Webb University, but the Big South, too. Coach, talk about those uh, senior leaders. Um, for you and in, in your coaching career, um, what, what does the term leadership mean to you? What does it mean on the field and what does it mean off the field? Well, I'll use an example this year from our team, which is Aaron Miller, who's our senior shortstop. Uh, Aaron came in as a freshman and had to be a follower, not because he wasn't a natural leader, but because of the pecking order. Uh, in our system, the seniors and the upperclassmen have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of input. They have the authority to correct the younger uh, folks. Some can handle that well and some don't handle it as well because they're not comfortable with that role as leader. So Aaron had to learn from others uh, about how to be a leader. Uh, he, he had some good mentors. Now he's gone from being the freshman who kind of got uh, rebuked and, and hollered at a lot as a freshman. Now he's really handled that balance of being a great senior leader. He knows when to pat other guys on the back. He knows when to um, get on them a little bit to get a little more effort. But more importantly, he leads by example, and I think that's the most important quality of a leader. Anybody can talk the game, uh, but if, if you're going to lead and, and tell others when they're making mistakes, you've got to be careful you're not making your own. If you are making your own mistakes, then you've got to be making them full speed, and you've got to be making them unintentionally, because everybody's going to make mistakes, any type of leader is. But a leader who leads by uh, vocally and by example needs to make sure that as the old Bible verse says, that you check the uh, check your own eye before you try to pull out the splinter out of somebody else's. Because if you're if you're not walking the walk, then you won't gain the respect as a leader. You talk about uh, your vocal leaders and your your guys who have led by example. Um, you've had a lot of those over your career. Who are some uh, Who are some coaches and maybe just mentors in general who have uh, shaped your view, views and uh, uh, coaching philosophy wise and and, and personally. Well, I, had, I was very fortunate to play in a program in, in high school um, that I had a great leader in Coach Henry Jones, and he's uh, the all-time leader in state championships in North Carolina. He ended up with five or six, uh, and I played on two of those. And then my Legion coach, Don Sane, led by a complete, and we won the state championship and went to the uh, nearly would have been national champions, but for a squeeze play. But he was a great leader, but he wasn't the kind that got irritated, upset, and raised his voice. He was one of the most commanding presences that I've ever been around. And I, I kind of learned from Coach Jones and Coach Sane about how to handle people because each of them handled each person differently based on their personality. Both of them were demanding. Both of them were strict. Both of them had unique personalities, but they handled each of us differently. And that's really what I learned from them that I've got to change. Now we don't give people special privileges because they're different, uh, but one guy might need a little more uh, vocal, another guy might need that encouragement more, and I, I have to respond to what each player um, responds to, just like with my children at home. They're all very different and they, they respond to me differently. Um, through the years I've tried to 
give that back. My college coach was good about that, Coach Morris, and I've learned a lot from other college coaches, but I've tried to give that back to my players, and uh, I'm real proud of guys like Blake Lolly, who's playing uh, for Chicago Cubs now, and the kind of leader he was when he was here uh, was incredible. He was a coach on the field, uh, off the field, and now it's really showed up in the Chicago Cubs organization, and uh, you know, to be honest, I'm proud because I feel like I had a part in that development. So um, just trying to emulate that to the players and show them uh, that they need to be leaders on and off the field uh, has been important for me. And to be honest, I've been influenced by some of my own players who I saw do a great job of leading other people, and I tried to take some of those qualities myself. Coach, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for taking some time with us. Good luck in the 2011 season. And I appreciate it. Thank you.